Rights is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use. I can get in. ratchet. Like, that's the mode I can get if a motherfucker take me there. But being a hood rat, that shit is just in you, and it's very hard to break. I feel it. I feel it. You think you think ratchet is just where you was born at, or it's just it got to be in you, not on you? That shit got to be in you and not on you. I don't feel like it really got nothing to do with where you're born at. I feel it. I feel that you take some people out the hood, but not the hood out the person. You know what I mean? That right there. Right. Sure. Okay. Are you familiar with the term husband material? Husband material? Yeah. No, I don't even know no. the wife material. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, you heard wife material, right? Yeah. But I'm saying husband. I'm pretty sure you heard husband material on social media. I don't know if you heard it or that, but. Oh. I think I understand. Well, okay. Do you feel like that's a compliment if a woman call a guy husband material? Yeah. 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 Um, that means you got I, something in you that shows something that might go a little bit farther than you just being like a, a hoe. No. This is what I read. I'm so this is what I read. This is what I got now. And I just want you to know I'm gonna read it to you. And I want you to be honest with me. Do you do you think husband material is still a compliment? No, okay, before I go there, you no, know, let me say it like this. Do you think wife material is a compliment? If a guy say you wife material, because me personally I don't think that's a compliment. I don't think that should have Compliment, because if I'm working material, nigga, why you ain't wife oh, oh, Okay, okay, okay. We just got to go back to what you just said then. You say husband material is a compliment. If I'm husband material, why you don't let me be your husband then? Because you might just not be the nigga for me. So you just I believe quick. in double standards. So you do? I do believe in double standards. I do. When, I, when I see a guy say wife material, I, they're saying that uh, you're not ugly, you ain't all that great, but I mind being with you. I have a baby with you. Uh, I don't mind being in public with you, but I don't really want to fully commit. Yeah. I don't really want to give you my all in all, but hey, but yeah, but okay, we're going to give our husband material. This is what I've seen on the internet right quick. Now, you listening? Now, they said being husband material is an insult for most guys, right? They say being the husband material, let me take my shades off, being husband material in modern times mean from women's perspective, I don't find you attractive. Mm, that's what that I mean. Okay. I don't find you attractive enough for ca casual sex. Basically, I don't find you enough just to fuck around with. First, I will try to fuck all the hot guy, whole face, hot girl summer to get commitment from one of them. And if I fail at last, I will choose you. Mm. But you have to be thankful for choosing at last. Choosing at, should have said at least. This person got bad grammar. At least. But you get me for long time period benefits you get star fit sex if a guy's husband material not in the moon sex pay for everything over the self of her with a lot of emotional baggage i tried this with earlier guys and didn't like it so you won't get that within reality means i don't find you attractive enough to try that with 50 percent chance of divorce you agree or disagree with everything i just said i don't know about all the um the sex shit like if i'm not gonna really be with you you ain't gonna get no just off the top pussy but um, everything else I kind of agree with. I kinda Hold on, right quick. My TV running. I'm back. I'm back. My TV was talking just now. Wait, what you were saying? I don't agree with the um me giving you top tier coochie. Like I don't agree. Why is that? Because like if I'm not really finna be with you. Like, and I know I'm not going to be with you, and I know we're not going to last. I'm not going to give you the best coochie in my life. I'm not going to waste my energy. I'm not. But, so, hold on. What you don't agree with? Hold on, let's start with that first right quick. What you don't agree with? Just the top tier sex. She said she's going to give him five star sex. I don't agree with that. Everything no. else I agree with. She said she's not going to give him stuff. Oh, top well, I agree with, she said she gonna... with everything. She right. Okay. Yeah. So, basically, it's an insult, then, you would say. But I believe in double standards. So, I don't really think that's an insult. I think, like, y'all deserve that. Some of y'all niggas deserve that. You know? Some men deserve that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay. Right. Okay. If you say so yourself, though. But, yeah, that's what I looked at it just now. Um, hey, guys, that's the insult if a woman call you husband material. She don't find you attractive enough. Because, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Could you stay in the house a whole week without stepping a foot outside for a hundred thousand? I do that shit for free, so yeah, ain't nothing to it. What do you really want right now if you had to manifest it? I only want. I want to be ten times better than what I am right now in this moment. I feel yeah. that. What, what's the uh? Who give you more compliments, females or guys? Guys. What you get complimented on the most? My shape. You want to give everybody three six? No, I don't. I feel that. I hear that. I feel that. What do they say about your shape? I'm sure walk a grown woman. Got a lot of ass. She like that. I feel that. I feel that. You don't want to bless us with a 360 or nothing like that? I don't want to bless y'all with no 360. I feel that. I hear that. Okay. What's hard about dating you? Hard about dating me? Yeah. Um, I got a lot of trauma that I ain't healed from, but I know that. So I'll let people know that before they just jump in that car with me. If women say, why are, why you think dating is, why are women, why are so many women you think frustrated with dating, they so exhausted, tired of dating, complain about it so much? Because you run into a lot of dudes that you feel like the one, because that's what they give off at first, and then you hop in that car with them, and then three months into the relationship, they turn to somebody that's totally different, and you already invested it, like invested this love and this caring to them. And so you don't really want to let go. And then people make you feel bad for not wanting to let go. And then you be like, well, I know him when you really didn't know him at the beginning because he wasn't who he really was. It was just like a whole cover up. So you're just tired of the same cycle. So you really don't know who to trust. Now, this is what I got right here. I just look at it like the reason why women are tired of dating. This is just my humble opinion right here. Mm -hmm. My humble opinion is because they're fucking these Chads and Tyrone, Pookies and Ray Rays, but those guys not committing. Those guys are, they don't want them. They, you know what I'm saying? Uh, You know who Duke Dennis is? Okay, yeah. the YouTuber? Kyfer. Well, Kyfer. Yeah, 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 the, the AMP guy. Okay, we're going to use this as an example. This is a perfect example right here. So, like, guys like them, AMP running through the threes and sixes, but those guys are not committing. So women are frustrated because why I find these guys attractive, but they're not committed because they don't want y'all. Mm -mm. That's why I think they're committed because those guys don't want you. They don't find you attractive because the guys will fuck anything that's available. That's why the women are frustrated. Not they want guys like that. You said what? Not necessarily because some dudes you know not to get with. Like them, if one of them hit me up, I knew not to go for that because this nigga is Man, you, and he ain't got you know you gonna slide doing? it. Duke didn't slide it them you gonna go. About, no, you can't you can't just give your cat to anybody just because a nigga got a little bit of class. So you don't find Duke Dennis attractive. He's sexy as hell, but he ain't finna get no cat. Man, stop cat. You know you're gonna common fly sense. He's not finna get no cat. That's Man, you know you're gonna give him cheeks. You, no matter what. You gonna These niggas go through supermodels, bad bitches that don't even cuff them. You make them you think that nigga gonna cuff you? Come on. I'm 20 Man. years old. I stay in a fucking apartment. Do I think a nigga that stay in fucking mansions with his fucking homeboys gonna cuff me? No. Man, stop it. You know, goddamn, he'll put you on that flight to New York on the no. first thing smoking. No. You're going to no. spread them cheeks no. wide open and, no. and grab ankles no. and toes and no. suck his toes. You better no. stop lying no. over here. Don't no. lie with me, woman. No. Don't lie to me. No. Take my shades off. No. Don't you lie to me, goddamn no. it. You know I will keep my nigga that's in college dog. with a job over Duke Dennis any day. You ain't going to be in them deals, dog, man. All he got to do is say, pull up. I got no. the flight ready. I no. got the room ready. Just bring. Hey, he going to say, take time off. He gonna say this right here. They give you PTO pay. I'm gonna give you CTO. You know what CTO is? Do you know what that is? It's called choice time off. Mm -hmm. He gonna give you choice time. I'm gonna pay you. He gonna, he gonna say, baby, I will pay you for them days off that you off and work with me. Mm -hmm. And you ain't gonna turn that nigga down. I don't believe that shit. I don't believe that shit. Y'all ain't gonna hit me with that I'm, shit. You is not gonna turn down a blue check in your DMs. I'm trying no, you not. First of all, baby, I had a blue check in the DM before. And on right hand on the Bible can show you screenshots and turn that shit down. That shit don't shut it down up in me. Who you was? Who you was? I ain't gonna put it on here. I ain't, I ain't that bold. But I'll send you the screenshots. So. so you gonna turn down a blue, blue check? I don't I believe it. That's why I never get in a serious relationship again. Because I don't believe if I get in a relationship, my woman gonna turn down Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis be clapping my bitch, bro. 
I'm like, man, I can't. And you can't that. have that mindset. If your female really wants you, she gonna keep you no matter Look what more. nigga, what bitch, how much they got offer them. I realize this guy's always more handsome, more taller, bigger, sex, and all that. It I don't, don't matter. If you get a shit. bitch that really love you, she's not going to cheat on you, no matter who All the is. people that going to love me unconditionally is my mama, my auntie, and my grandma, and my father. Well, my father, my man. But those are three women that going to love me unconditionally. My mama, my auntie, and my grandma. You got to have a little, I, little faith. You going to find I, somebody who's going to care I, about I, you. It's really hard for me to believe if Usher slides in somebody's DMs, a dude slides in somebody's DMs. Don't Usher. 95 Wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to let you go. You mean to tell me 85 to 95% of females are going to say no? Answer that question right there. I'm not saying that. It's yes or no. Do you believe 95% no. of women is going to say no? No. Or they going to go? They going to go. On the Bible, they going to go. Yes. Well, what did they tell you right now? But it's the, they just with them guys just to be with them. But, but what did they tell you? They with those guys just to be with them. They don't really want you like that. Yes. Did you realize the average woman not attracted to the average man? What did that tell you? They with guys just could to be with them. So he, oh my God. Mm. Yeah. You're not yeah. speaking nothing that's not facts. I'm not going to dock shit that you're saying. As a female, I'm not. But out of that 80%, it's still another 20% no, of women. But ain't 80%. Do. It's about 95% going to say yeah. Well, it's still that 5% that won't do you bad. If you say so. I got a few more. I'm going to let you go. I got a few more. Okay, hold on, hold on. What's the purest form of love? Form of love. Shit. I have no idea, but yeah. I don't know. I know. You know what Would you do a long distance relationship? Yeah. I have. How far? Would I do it again? How far you was? Fuck no. How far it was? Well, on a Greyhound, 36 hours. God, God damn. How the fuck y'all met? I went to Mississippi. I met my cousin. My cousin put me on with him when I went back home. I don't never believe in this relationship. She always gonna get some local dick. Yeah, you, you don't don't believe in that shit. That shit ain't niggas do you bad. <laughs> niggas that do you bad. Don't do it. Don't do it. So who who broke up with who? I left him while he was at work. Damn. He was cheating on you or something? Cheating on me, beating my ass, all types of shit. How you doing that if you learned this? Cause I moved. I just told you I got on the Greyhound for thirty six hours and went up there. How long you have moved? I moved up there. Move it, I was up there five months. Dang. Why? Well, well, that's some that's some first class dick right there. My dick ain't never had no woman goddamn bitch move in five <laughs> months. Well, I don't know what kind of dick y'all niggas got. I damn sure ain't slinging enough dick, bro. I must be. I'm only using my belly because I ain't got that much dick. To make a woman <laughs> live with me for five damn months and drive thirty six hours. God damn, y'all got some top tier dick out here, bro. I'm definitely not using my full dick, bro. Like, I got to get some new dick, bro. I need to get me a dick implant or some shit, bro, and get a couple inches. Because what kind of dick is this? This shit crazy. Dang, bro. What the fuck? He, he must be hit, bro. He must be hit that bottom. I'm not going to sit around my sex life for a while. He must be hit, hit that bottom. He had to hit that bottom, boy. Lord, boy. I got, man. Woo, it's hard out here for a pimp gang. I hear that right there. And uh and you ended it. That's cool. That's cool though. I feel like why females always say the same thing. He was toxic, he was narcissist, he was beating my ass. They say the same fucking thing. Most females say the same thing. I just don't why. understand. You wanna know why? What? When we say you niggas the same, you niggas the same. Ain't no nigga gonna commit to no bitch that he he don't want for real. Ain't no nigga gonna treat no bitch good that he don't want for real. That nigga didn't want me for real, and that's why he dogged me. But he with a bitch right now that he get, he get a bitch to worry anything she asked for, because that's the bitch that he really wanted. My thing is this right here, though. I think they're lying and trying to play victim. That's what I really believe. I think they're lying playing victim. I didn't shit in those niggas before. I ain't did not shit, but that nigga really put me through it. Mm. For all, I just want to know this right here. These females out here who be saying they got this this pussy and woo woo and they can get any nigga. Why they can't get those same guys to commit to them and be in a relationship with them? Because good pussy don't get you nowhere. I just want to know that because I hear a lot of people on my my good YouTube pussy channel. Don't get you TikTok, nowhere. I see a lot of see females. They say they can get all these type of niggas, 
But with my thing is, if you so bad like you say you is, why the hell you got to work? If you bad like you say you is, a nigga pay them damn bills for a year. You ain't got to work. As a female that don't work, um, I agree to that. I agree to that. If, I agree to that. You, if, if that pussy got some power like it say it do, baby, you won't have to work a nine to five. He'll sponsor your ass. So apparently you is not as pretty as you think it is. Man, what? Amen. I heard that. Amen. Man, shit. Bro, I'll write a book on these hoes. Y'all better stop playing with me right here. Y'all is not that bad. I had a woman say that. Like, she was like, she was that pretty. Woo -woo. I was like, y'all hoes really gaffing y'all ass up. Because if you are that bad, why the hell you ain't got no sponsor? You got to think about it. I'm telling you, that pretty shit don't mean nothing. That coochie shit don't mean nothing. If a nigga going to pay your bills, you going to have to offer up some more than a face. And some motherfucking coochie. You gonna have to bring something to the table. When my nigga met me, I already had my own shit. What he do now is just adding on to the shit that I already had. You bitches don't I, have no foundation when these niggas meet y'all. Nothing. But, Nothing but, but, to build up on. But, but my thing, this is weird behavior. Y'all grown ass women brag about getting fucked on by a rich nigga. What the hell you got out of that? You just got some dick. What the hell is y'all game? Y'all gonna brag about fucking Duke Dennis. All he did is give y'all some dick and a ticket? And you got some dick and a mouth full of cum, and he took your ass to get the fuck on. That's all you got. Mm -hmm. All he did was butter up them tonsils. Goddamn, you gave him that throat hug and dropped that neck, and that's all they brag about fucking celebrity. I don't understand this shit. This social media shit getting weird about the day. Why are females doing this, bragging about fucking celebrities and getting nothing out of this? I don't know. I don't, I don't fuck celebrities, baby. I don't know. This, I don't know. I, I just find it weird, though. I just find it weird. I, I find it weird, too. I just thought... I'm just thinking... I'm just asking am I the only one that find it weird, or I'm weird myself. I find it weird, because, like I said, if you don't got shit to build up on, why is you with this nigga that got way more than you that can drop you at any moment and change your whole life, but you'll be broke again? Because my thing, do you understand what come with a man that rich and successful? You realize what type of, type of woman you got to be? He gonna have other women. You should know that. So are you comfortable with being in a concubine or a harem? You comfortable having threesomes and having multiple women? No, you not. And then if you pretty, you don't think he can get other prettier women like that? Common sense. Bitches don't use it. Pretty women grow on trees out here. They everywhere. Everywhere. Man, all you got to do is go to a college campus. Man. Man, shit. All right, but all right. We'll see it's easy, but it's really hard, though. Moving on. Um, Moving on, I feel that. You 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 think it's hard to forgive or to or forget? To be honest, forgive. Sure. Do you feel like, like if you still remember some fuck shit, do you really forget though? Because I be thinking like I be remembering fuck shit, but I'm like, damn, did I forget? That I shit? feel like you got you got to be just like logical about the shit. It's life. You're not gonna ever really forget somebody doing you bad. Like you forgiving. It's going to help you not forget, but, like, not really mask on it or, like, just stand on it. You know? You'll be able to move on. I feel it. I feel it. I feel that right there. And I appreciate you coming on, though, gang. Um, yeah, I appreciate you. You like, comment, subscribe to the channel, gang. For sure. We out of here.